to people here. There's this weird sort of dark sense of humor. There's a certain stoicism. People don't want to be called resilient. There is a real sort of negativity that, that is felt here whenever people are called resilient. Because as one woman said, we're not resilient. We're not superheroes. We're tired. We have been forced into this. But there is a certain stoicism. Because people have to keep going. You have to keep breathing. You have to keep waiting in line for water, scrapping around for food, figuring out how you're going to get your kid medicine or diapers or whatever it is. And that need to just stay alive has forced, to a certain degree, all of this compounded pain down. But it's going to come up. And people are afraid of it coming up and of having to actually truly confront everything. Because right now, even though we're nine months in, it's still a shock. Look, I, when I drive around, I'm obviously driving around with Gaza. This is their city. These are their people. And they're still shocked by the level of what it is that they're seeing. Our cities in Gaza, how sometimes they have to be amputated there and then in order just to save their lives. And then, of course, there's the other issue. So many Gazans want to stay in Gaza, but even though now they can't get out, they're really considering, they say, what happens to them in the future, whether there'll be a future in Gaza, which